I spent £200 on security products for this car, and then I let two thieves try and steal it. And I've also fitted a surprise one that only costs £3.50 and I think is the most secure. The first security device to test is this handbrake and gear stick lock. It was £45 from Amazon and has a four star rating. Whether it's good or not, let's find out. Seems to have quite good reviews, although for some reason most of them are in French, which I don't really know why a French person would need this because they all drive around in knackered Peugeots, which no one wants to steal. Oh, here. There we go. So first security device, I'm gonna start the timer, see how long it takes you to go off. Three, two, one, steal my car. Right. Do you reckon you can get the gear knob off? That'll do it, won't it? Oh yes, he's done it. This is what he does, he steals cars. Done. And then away we go. No. I break down. How much was this? 45 pounds. 45 pounds. It took less seconds than pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that took 18 seconds. So that's what, about £2.50 per second. <laughs> well, next one. That was easy. Rubbish. That is junk. That was pretty bad for £45. Hopefully this next one is a bit better. This wraps around your steering wheel and your clutch pedal to stop a thief driving off. It only costs £12, but the reviews aren't great. The steering wheel lock has only got one review and it's in Spanish, which we translated, which says don't put it on your dream car. So. It's fine on the TT. So this goes on the clutch pedal to keep the clutch pedal up so you can't get it in gear. Put it on the back of the clutch. And then combination. What do we think? Just kick it? Kick it. Yeah. Cut it. Cut it again. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <sighs> okay, that is actually on quite good. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm so close. There you go. It's off. Oh my word. Top tip for thieves, just go to the gym. So 58 seconds, a little bit longer, but I think if you knew what you were doing, it'd be even faster, right? And I, I reckon if you got in there with some, with some cutters there, it'd be even quicker, just snip it off. We're quite good thieves. Yeah, might change career. <laughs> I reckon it pays more. <laughs> this one also goes around the steering wheel, but this time it secures to the seat belt buckle. It's got a 4.5 star rating on Amazon and costs £37. Always the best thing about buying these things from Amazon is that the instructions are fantastic. I'm told that this one is easy to install. Wraps around there, goes through here, and then goes into the seat belt, which in this TT is too far away. Oh God, no, I can't get my leg out. It's not that easy to install. For something way more secure than this cheap crap, you should check out today's sponsor, Surfshark. So rather than protect your car, they protect your personal information. Unfortunately, hackers don't need tools like these to steal your personal data. They'll do it in their pajamas behind a laptop screen. That's where Surfshark comes in. Surfshark is a virtual private network. It keeps your identity safe by encrypting all the information sent from your phone to the internet. Public Wi-Fi, like what you find in a service station or a shopping center, are a hacker's dream. Surfshark masks your information and ensures that your city, country, and download information are never shared. As an added bonus, Surfshark VPN can change your virtual location with over 3,200 servers in over 100 locations. And that means you can unlock Netflix libraries from loads of different locations and unlock loads more content. I wanted to watch Rush, which isn't available in the UK, so I use Surfshark to change my location to Argentina, refresh my browser, and then the movie pops up on my normal Netflix subscription here in the UK. Surfshark has given you guys 83% off and three extra months free when you use discount code overdrive and there's no risk either because of surfshark's 30-day money-back guarantee so make sure to check it out with the link in the description now should we steal a car i think we should steal a car <laughs> three two one go it looks like a cheap bike lock yeah go on you go straight through that first time oh not by your leg why not all right go on then right and to get it right in there these thieves aren't very safety conscious come on those bolt cutters are rubbish and we're away. Oh, rip it out, rip it out. So I cut this off, but it does mean you can't put your seatbelt on. That's not very safe if you're a thief. So if you, if you are a thief, just 
be careful. That was only 38 seconds again. All of the, have we had one over a minute yet? No, it's unbelievable. We're undefeated. Bearing in mind that we are using toy size bolt cutters. I've got bike locks that are better quality than that. And for 37 pounds, I really don't think that's good value for money. This is one of the first cheap products at just 15 pounds with four and a half stars on Amazon. Basically, it goes under one of the pedals and stops you from depressing the pedal. There's lots of fantastic reviews on this one. Worked great for the first two months. Lock stopped working and now it's useless, but still gave it five stars. That's the kind of customers that you want. I feel like this one could be the best. Uh, probably put it on the, on the brake pedal, maybe. So they can steal your car, but then they end up in the first hedge. So first limitation is it won't go on the brake. It could go on the clutch. Ah. Imagine being outside some fancy restaurant with a nice date ready to go in there for a nice meal. And then you have to crawl around on the floor for 10 minutes fitting this bloody device. It'd really kill the mood. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, one, go. Right, drill. Drill, drill, drill. Oh, I can't get a drill in there. It's in the other side. <laughs> Angle grinder. Am I gonna set the carpet on fire? Wow. It took a while with the battery angle grinder. Yeah, but even with all that kind of figuring it out and faffing around, it was still only two minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, we went over the minute though. Steering wheel locks like this are one of the most popular car security mods. This one costs 50 pounds and has a rating of 4.4 stars. There you go. Fits like a glove. Next security device. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, steal my car. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Pull it. Nope. Okay, so that's wrapped around the steering wheel. What's on that side? Uh, right, we need that. I have a toolkit. Right, straight to the drills then. Lovely pilot hole. Would you reckon a four mil? Safety glasses because I'm a thief, not be, a maniac. Be quick. All the way down the middle, as far as you can go. Oh, there's oh. a brake. Oh. I'm spinning. Oh, pull it out. Carry on. No, he's done it. Stop the timer. Oh, <laughs> what? How long was that? 47 seconds. <laughs> that went quicker than I thought. It's a lot of metal, not a lot of goods. Bearing in mind, I've never done that before. <laughs> Someone who's done that before would do it in half the time. Not massively successful right now, huh? No, how are you feeling about that? Not great. It's gonna be less than five minutes to take all of my devices off. Next up is something you never want to see on your car, but can a wheel clamp work well as a security device? This one was 32 pounds and has a five-star rating on Amazon. Why do all of these involve me getting my knees wet and my trousers dirty? Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. It's actually quite good. So when you're ready, three, two, one, go. Oh my God, you came, you came ready. On the tire, don't ruin the rims. Oh, that's actually going. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> but I was getting ready to drill it. Well. If you ever get a parking fine and you get clamped, crowbar. This is 38 pounds, four and a half stars, which I now think the reviews are actually from the thieves <laughs> based on how easily they are. That took 28 seconds with that miniature crowbar. If you had a proper crowbar, 10 seconds maximum. And the lock doesn't look great either. No, you could drill it, you could angle grinder it, you could pry it off. You might actually be able to just drive. Drive and it would break itself, <laughs> probably. That is bad. That's very bad. What material are these made out of? Cheese. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's American cheese. Rubbish. This next one is my secret weapon. I'm convinced this will be the best of them all. So the special and secret device that I fitted that only costs £3.50 is a kill switch that is just under here, hidden from any thieves. And what this does is disables the fuel pump so the engine just can't start. Well. That was really easy. Yeah. We've stolen your car. Uh, have you got the keys or have I got the keys? All right. 
It turns over. I bet it's got Come on. fuel. Throttle? Fuel? Has it got fuel? It's got fuel. It's, it's got, got, it's definitely, it has, it has got fuel. It's got fuel. I haven't done anything unusual to the car. Has he what has he done? Ignition leads? You, have, you, have you just broken it? I've not broken the car. I've not taken anything off it. This is a security device that is in the inside of the car. So the car works? The car works. It's a switch. It's not one of these. Is he like rewired one of these, like the boot switch? No, that is the boot switch. It's not a um, one of the code, like an immobilizer, is it? Don't think so. Something under a seat, under your seat? And it's not under the bonnet? No, it's inside the car. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, come on, no, I found it. Look switch. at this. He, he's tucked a switch oh. right under there. You sneaky bugger. Three pounds 50, took a couple of hours to fit. Inconspicuous, you can't see it in there. And actually that took you three minutes to find and disable, which makes it the most secure thing that we've tested today. The cheapest and the most secure. So buy a switch from Amazon yep. and fit that. That is the best one. That is the best one, I'd say. As a thief, <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised at how bad some of those were. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see us fit underglow to our hideous PT Cruiser, you should watch this video here and make sure you like and subscribe.